England playing in white from left to right. The first ball safely into the hands there of Matt Ferguson. There's Xander Ferguson, he has a go this time. Will Stewart protecting the fringes, that was an important tackle from him. Hamish Watson. Well, it's still there for Scotland. England defending it well at the moment, but Scotland get the penalty. Yep, just speak with them also. And Finn Russell does the duty, and that'll be exactly what Gregor Townsend and his players and coaches wanted. I guess the concern for Gregor Townsend is that despite the high penalty count against England, they do lead by just three points to nil. They've got to take eight. chances. There goes Chris Harris. Okay, eight. The That's arm is the out yet again. Well, I wonder what Andrew Brace might do about that. And that looks a little bit high as well. Okay. And there is going to be a yellow card. And it's being shown to Billy Bernapola. And a high tackle here, yeah. Something had to give. And it kept on coming. Yeah, it's just lazy. That's lazy from Bernapola. Russell pumps it up high. Owen Farrell is underneath it. A great ball. Pat it back. It's gone into the hands of Ferguson. Powerful That's from Matt Ferguson. Here's Ali Price. Once again, Scotland into the 22. Red path. This time they've got an overlap. It's Turner. Turner. Well, perhaps he should have kept it, but Duhan van der Merden showing his power. And he's up to the line, and Duan van der Merwe has got the opening score. No less than Scotland deserve. He still had an awful lot to do. George Turner would have been better with the show and go. But as it is, the jock box scores. The stats that he produces week in, week out have been unbelievable. But it all came from an outstanding kick from Finn Russell. Sean Maitland got after it. Matt Fagerson with another carry. But look at Duane van der Merwe. Get off Elliot Daly. Mark Wilson, one of the strongest in the game, still not strong enough to hold out Duhan van der Merwe. Wait! Hold! Out there from Vunapola. Well, that was a neat break. They're inside the Scotland 22. There's Marowitoji. He picks up and carries the best phase of play we've seen in the match so far from England. On there to Vunapola. Scotland have come offside. No advantage, always under pressure. Who well, England are going to have the chance to narrow the deficit to a couple of points here. All of your side, take a step, please, Blue. Yeah. Well, the referee is uh, new ten. Yeah. Received a word 10, from yeah. the television yeah. match yeah, official, Joy Neville. Here you go, Andy. It's the best angle that we have. The mitigation comes from the fact he gets his right arm to him, so actually he's... Yeah, yeah, it's a trip. I agree, Matt. So, clear trip, Joy, yeah? Or 10 blue. So 10 blue goes to the bin, yeah? Do you agree with that? Yeah? I agree. Yeah. 10 blue. He, well, he's clearly tripped him. Sure. No, no, 10. It's a trip. So, you either... Well, Owen Farrell has already scored centuries against Wales, Italy, Ireland and France, and now he's completed the Six Nations set. Yes, to the vantage. Last eight, six. Here goes Johnny Gray, straight into Maro Itoji. Good. Taken on again by Scotland. Another penalty conceded by England. Well, there he goes again. Look at Van der Merwe from a standing start. Ali Price. They're going to continue probing that corner over there. Oh, and then it goes into the hands of Elliot Daly and the referee blows his whistle. One and seven, no arms tackle. There's no attempt to grasp on the right arm. OK, on that last one, number one, OK? I'm very prepared to put somebody else in the bin, or if a discipline doesn't... Imp Two penalty options, and again, Andrew Brace saying he is not scared of putting somebody else into the bin. Finn Russell adds the three, first involvement back on the field. Yeah. 
Here's Farrell. That's one to chase, really, at Daly. Hog underneath it. Neat little sidestep as well, and he's off and running. This is what this man does so well. Up towards halfway. Stuart Hogg, brilliant counter-attack, making 20 metres when he had absolutely no right. Elliot Daly, mindful to keep the old tippy-toes off the whitewash. Here goes Stuart Hogg. The ball sits up nicely for the captain. Oh, he struck an absolute beauty there. Well, it's the classic old spiral. And it's got the bounce. What a kick by Scotland's captain. Against the grain, right foot to left, touchline, not always easy, but you, you see space in behind. Performance by the Scots just three years ago up at Murrayfield when Finn Russell was among the heroes. Oh, and Johnny Mays put it down. Well, that wouldn't have happened in November. He produced the brightest moments in the Autumn Nations Cup. But that, in microcosm, sums up England's afternoon. Stay here, stay. There's Robson. Scotland know they can't afford to infringe. One final chance for the men in white. Elliot Daly. Yeah, they just don't want to give away a penalty that can give England a, a line out and the opportunity to create them all, force England to score from 55 metres by keeping the ball in hand. Courtney Laws. James Watson's on that, he's got it. Scotland have turned it. They've got the ball into touch. The whistle blows for the end of the match. What a day it is for Scottish rugby. Stuart Hogg, man of the match, can barely believe it. Finn Russell, as you might expect, taking it in his stride. Well, well, well. Scotland, famed for being slow starters, couldn't have got off to a faster start in this season's Guinness Six Nations Championship. They've beaten England at Twickenham by 11 points to 6.